Hi, so in this class of optical networking, today we will study about the optical fiber. So optical fiber here, as we can say, that is the transmission medium here or in your optical system. That means we are using here light waves. So that light waves here or these light pulses here are carried by your optical fiber. So in this fiber optic communication, we have a technology which we name as WDM technology. Like we have WDM or DWDM. So it's a technique which is used here to multiplex a number of optical channels into a single optical fiber by using different wavelengths of laser lights here. So that means we are multiplexing here light signals so that the efficiency of the system can be improved or one fiber can be used here to carry multiple number of signals here. So optical fiber, this optical fiber here is basically a thin transparent fiber for transmitting the information from point to point by using pulses of light. So this is basically your a thin transparent fiber which is used to carry this information by using pulses light pulses here so this is a material we can say that this is a material here which is used to this fiber here to carry the signal so this is here like composed of different units like we can say that what this composition here is like so this is like that so it has core cladding and a buffer coating so this is here your core this here is your cladding and the last part here is buffer coating here so these are the components here that means like we have this optical fiber like this is that much thin like a human hair like strand of a human hair and inside that it is a division like a core cladding and buffer coating so that means the light will travel through this hair light is kept here in the core of the optical fiber light is kept in here in the core and we are using here the principle of total internal reflection here like between a uh, core and the cladding so this total internal reflection here will cause the fiber to act as a waveguide like for example if this is the media here so the different pulses are traveling like this because we have this difference of density of the material of this like core and the cladding so that this in total internal reflection happen here and this fiber will act as a waveguide for these light pulses so here in this medium the fiber is used instead of this metal wires because the, with the help of this technology the signal can travel a long distance with a loss with a less amount of losses and these signals here are also immune to electromagnetic interference so these are basically here like made up of your plastic or your glass material now the next thing here about this is the optical spectrum as we have this complete spectrum like for different uh, ranges of frequency the optical spectrum here is made up of like your infrared uh, visible and uv light here so 
as if you see here the different uh, range of frequencies like you have 20 kilohertz here like that can be used for your audio or sound frequencies here then you have for like your radio tv radar etc like then we have this infrared visible and uv rays so that here makes your optical spectrum now this optical spectrum uh, this light waves it consists of the light waves so these light waves basically are expressed in your nanometers so the optical band here is like you have here this optical band which have this like o e o e s c l and u so o here is like for your original band and the wavelength here is for this is 1 to 6 0 nanometers to 1360 nanometer then we have the e band which is your extended band here and it has 1360 to this one then after e we have the s band which is your short band which has this much then uh, C is your conventional which is from your this nanometer then L is your long band and this is your ultra long band here like this and then this one is from 1625 to your 1675 nanometer so these are your wavelengths for the different bands here now if you just see uh, after that uh, the absorption spectrum here for this optical band which will be here in correspondence to like your loss and like loss will be your this db per kilometer and this is the uh, wavelength here like one 10. We're just giving the dimensions, and in here you can express the wavelength like this. Okay. So, like we have here your S short band, C, and your L band here up to this one. So, the, if you see just the loss here, so here from this it will become like this. So, like we are most commonly using here a C band here. So, the C band frequencies are Like it has like 
one band here it just has your difference of frequency this one is as your blue band and this is your red band so it has the frequencies sorry the wavelengths here according to this range here so red band here like uh, for example if you take example of the red band so it has channels like from uh, 26 to 38 so if you just uh, sorry from 20 to 38 so if you just see the channel number 20 here so like the frequency here is 15 starting from 156142 and then there will be your corresponding frequency here so which is like your this only 192 if you just go to the next band 21 now it will decrease here the wavelength central wavelength but some amount of frequency will increase here now if you have just the band number 22 so it is if 1559.79 so the frequency will increase here as there is a decrease of the wavelength some of the frequency will increase here now in blue band you have like channels from 40 to 60 so like if you have channel number 42 so the central wavelength here is 1543.73 and the frequency here is this one if you will see the next channel this will be the central wavelength and this will be the frequency so this is just here for the C band. So that it has been here designed according to the ITU recommendations here. So here we just have an introduction to the optical fiber and the optical spectrum here. Now next we will study about your DWDM concept but in our next sessions. So this is all here for today's class. Thank you so much.